there. I'm here today to show you how to assemble a piping bag using Russian piping tips and help you get started with your new Russian piping tips. Why don't you join me? Before we get started, let me show you everything. I have together a pair of scissors, my piping bag, the two parts to my Russian piping tip coupler, and I'm going to use a flower piping tip today. I also have a glass that's to help me hold the bag upright. So first thing you want to do is insert your tip. So I'm going to grab this part of the coupler and drop it down in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the tip of the bag. And I'm going just a little bit at a time because you can always take a little bit of extra off, but of course you cannot put it back on. Now with these Russian piping tips, because they are a larger tip, you're pushing a lot of frosting through at once. So you don't want to make it too big an opening because if you do, and I've done this before, it is aggravating as it can be if your icing comes through and pushes the tip off the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my flower tip on that I'm using today. What's beautiful about these is how easy it is to change your tips out because instead of going into the inside of the bag, the tip is on the outside. I'm gonna kinda of just make sure it's tightened up there. Okay, I have a glass, plain old glass from my kitchen. I'm going to drop this into it and I think we've all been there where we just didn't have enough hands to try to fill a piping bag, so this will help you with that. As you can see, I've taken this and put the sides of it around the glass. I'm using an icing that's a pretty stiff consistency. I'm going to show you this. When I put my spatula in there, it holds right up. And you need that so that your flowers will hold the shape as you're doing your piping project. So I'm going to go ahead, push that icing down in there. Today instead of buttercream, I made a cream cheese icing. And because it is fall, I decided on one little caramel flavor. So instead of vanilla extract today, I put in some caramel extract. And let me tell you, it smells delicious. Okay. Another very important little tip here. When you are filling your piping bag, you don't want to go more than halfway. This is no more than you want to go, right here. Then you're going to go ahead and you are ready to st start piping. Have fun!